Usually I would be on video right now, but I want you all to take a brief break from looking at my beautiful plump face so you can just focus on this cute little squirrel, this squirrel named Peanut. Now the U.S. government, they deemed Peanut such a threat that they sent about a dozen officers to this man's home. They busted in his door. They dragged him out of his home in handcuffs like some sort of criminal. They then proceeded to ransack through his home. They confiscated Peanut. They ripped Peanut and his raccoon friend named Fred out of the home. And then they murdered little Peanut and Fred in cold blood, ladies and gentlemen. That's what our government has been focused on. That's what our government is doing. In New York, of all places, a place that is overridden with crime, I could think of a thousand other things that they should be doing you know, that would be more important than kicking in doors, killing pet squirrels. I mean, just think about all of the crazy stuff happening around you right now. None of us, and I mean none of us, feel safe in this country anymore. Yet our resources that should be used to actually protect people from real problems, from real crime, our resources are going to taking out pet squirrels? Like a judge had to sign off on this warrant so they could raid this man's home over a pet squirrel. And it's not like the squirrel was being neglected. It was living a nice life. It had been with the man for seven years. He rescued it when it was just a wee little squirrely. You know what I mean? And it's not like the government had a better plan on what they could do with little peanut. No, they just came and said, hey, you can't have that. You can't have that little bit of freedom, you can't have that little bit of joy in your life. We're going to come in, we're going to yank it out. We have no plans to release the squirrel. We have no better home for the squirrel. We're just going to take it away from you and execute it on the spot. Him and his raccoon friend named Fred. Now, some of you may be listening to this. You may have seen this story and you might think, well, what's the big deal? It's just the squirrel. And that's where you're wrong. Because you see, this story is bigger than Little Peanut. This story is about so much more than Little Peanut. This story is about government overreach. It's about how much control they have over your life. It's about how they come in and feel as if they have the power to do things that, like what they did to Peanut, something totally unreasonable, something evil, something unnecessary. If it could happen to Peanut, it could happen to you. It could happen to your pet. The same government that is marching us into, getting, getting us involved in needless wars and conflicts around the world, right? They're destroying our, our economy. They're destroying our country from within. Meanwhile, they want to spend their time ripping away your joy and happiness. Oh, we're going to go ahead and pop off World War III, right? We're not going to do anything to stop it. In fact, we're going to do everything we can to ensure that we head right into World War III. But oh boy, oh boy, if you've got a pet squirrel... We're knocking on that door and we're coming for you. How do you not see the bigger picture here? How can people not see how, how this represents, represents something much more than just Peanut the Squirrel or Fred the Raccoon? 
What happened to poor little innocent peanut may be a new story right now. Like, this may be the news story that everyone is talking about right now. But it's also a tale. A tale as old as time. About how the big guy beats up on the little guy. About how tyrannical governments overexert their power on the common man. So this may be a new story, but it's a story that we have heard before. It's a story we have seen. It's a story we have read about in the history books, in fairy tales, and you name it. It's a story that's very familiar. And some of you may be thinking, well, we have better examples of this. Well, I would argue that in today's day and age, a lot of people sympathize more with animals, more so than they do with people. I don't know what it is, but that's just the facts. And right now, Peanut is opening up a conversation that a lot of people were not willing to have when we were seeing the government overexert their power onto people. When we saw what they were doing during the lockdowns, when we saw what they've been doing over the past couple of years, deplatforming people for having their own opinion, locking people up in jail because they have different politics than them. We've been seeing this for years, but people weren't ready to have the conversation. But now, this poor little innocent squirrel had to die for some people to finally speak out, for some people to finally see the writing on the wall and connect the dots that, hey, maybe these people do have too much power. And maybe they're misusing their power. And when we're in a state of decay in this country, and you see so many other things going wrong, and you look at our government taking the time out of their day, using their resources, our money, to kill a pet squirrel. When we have killers, and I mean, I can't even say the words on YouTube, but we have people who are R-wording people in the streets. We got so many bad people out here. We got so much bad stuff going on, and there seems like there's nothing being done about it. But boy, oh boy, if you get caught with a pet squirrel, they're going to come in guns a-blazing. They're going to treat you like the, the criminal. Uh, matter of fact, let me put it like this. They're going to treat you the way they should be treating the criminals that they should be arresting, but they're not arresting them. So they're taking it kind of all out on innocent people. Innocent people with pet squirrels and things of that nature. And I find that absolutely disgusting. And you know what I saw today? As everyone was voicing their outrage about poor little Peanut, there were news outlets claiming that, oh, if you care about this squirrel, you must be far right. You must be a political far right extremist if you care about the government killing little Peanut. And when I saw this, I mean, obviously it's disgusting, but this is what we come to expect from the mainstream media. But it's just like, are you serious? Does everything have to be about politics? But if you want to make it about politics, we can make it about politics. But I was under the belief that, hey, you don't have to be a Republican, a Democrat, far right, far left to care about the government coming in and executing an innocent pet squirrel for no reason. You know what I mean? I thought that this is something that everyone could agree on. Maybe we can't agree on who to vote for, but can we agree that this was wrong? Well, apparently not. Apparently, if any of you watching this video, it doesn't matter how you vote. It doesn't matter how you feel inside. It doesn't matter what your values are or what you think. But if you care about this squirrel, now you're far right. You're far right. And this is what they do. They divide us. They do horrible things like kill pet squirrels. And then they tell you, oh, well, if you're angry about it, 
you must be this or that, right? So now they have people on the left who feel like they can't sympathize with this baby squirrel because they don't want to be considered right wing, right? So that's what they do. Instead of taking accountability for the horrible things that they do, they just make it political and they divide us and all of that nonsense. So that's kind of where we're at on this story right now. Now, the woman who initially made the phone call to get little Peanut yanked away from his family, they have exposed her. They've doxxed her all over the internet. I'm not going to do that here. She'll get her karma. Everyone involved in this will get their karma. I am a full, firm believer in karma. And if you don't believe in karma, you better start. Because I'm telling you right now, when you do foul things, when you put out negative evil energies into the universe, and you do things like this, it's coming back for you. Full circle. Life comes full circle. I can tell you that much. But for now, justice for little Peanut. We will hold the people accountable who did this to him. This is not the end of this story. But this is the end of the video. So let me know your thoughts about this down in the comments below. While you're down there, hit the thumbs up, hit that subscribe, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all very soon in the next one.